What's up, writers? What's up, drivers? Today, I am going to try to touch on all the apps, as many as I possibly can, in my Infinity Gauntlet arsenal of apps. Already this week, I've knocked out pretty much all of them. There's only a few more left. Which ones do I have to finish? You have to keep watching to find out. And ride along with me to see if I can get a copyright strike as I try to insert as many songs into this video as I possibly can. See how that works out. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started. <laughs> Uh, what's up writers, what's up drivers? It is Saturday, um, the 27th. I actually wasn't gonna go out today, but I'm on my way to go do two orders. Uh, one is a burpee order and one's an Instacart order. Uh, burpee has a little bit more flexibility, so I can go ahead and take that one while I'm also doing the uh, Instacart order. They are both very small items. I think one is $15 and one is like $17. I'm only picking up a handful of stuff, which is what I like. I don't want to be in the store that long. I actually just got notification. There's a point pickup order and there is a roadie order. I still don't know what's going on with roadie. They said, um, I got to get a background check completed. So we'll see if we're ever going to ever do a roadie. But I wanted to make this video because I've pretty much touched on every app that I have on my phone. The only two apps that I haven't touched that I'm qualified for has been Grubhub and Favor. So I think today, just for fun, I might actually go do a few favors and I actually might go do a few Grubhub just to see what kind of money I can make. Another thing too, there have been two promos that have come through, so I do wanna give you guys credit when I can. So I'll be showing those at the end of the video. Thank you so much for all you guys who choose to use my code. Uh, it does help out a lot and it's a big surprise when I look at one of these apps and then there's bonus money sitting in there. As you guys know, my car was just on the fritz, so that definitely helps replenish my savings. And yes, my car is back up and running, otherwise I would be doing this by foot, which would not be fun. But enough babbling, let's go ahead and get started. Um, yeah, we'll see what we do. We might do, we might do some point pickup. I actually did one of those yesterday on my way home. I turned off Uber Eats, and there was a $14 order sitting there for me to pick up. Snatched it up, point pickup. <laughs> Snatched it up, and uh, I was on my way. So um, I guess I'm just gonna be working today. Let's go. And another reason why I said I was gonna get out of the house today because I gotta go pick up my corner shop supplies. I still haven't been able to get that because my car was busted, so I wasn't able to meet them at the designated point. But today, I plan on doing that for sure. So you guys know Father's Day uh, wasn't too far away. I think it was just last week. You have to forgive me, all this stuff just kinda, all these days just kinda blend in together. I don't even know whether I'm coming or going anymore. I've been working uh, quite a few days this week and got a pretty big payout, which is another reason I wanted to make this video to share that with you guys because that bonus money actually did help a lot. So I appreciate that. I'll be inserting a clip from when I went to go visit my father for Father's Day. He was working, workaholic just like I am, uh, at his food truck. And I normally don't show a lot of his business, so I definitely want to put him out there. So, you get, so if you guys are in Austin and you're up north, uh, that's where you can find my father. But here's a little look at his food truck. Actually just came from uh, hanging out with my father from Father's Day. Got a whole bunch of food, which is what I'm very excited to go dig into. So I'm actually gonna go head home and eat that. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. It was really cool to finally hang out with him where I found where he actually parked his truck because he's forever moving that thing. And uh, he's got a lot of big plans coming and it was really exciting to catch up with him. Uh, although we text and talk all the time, but actually to physically go see him and hang out and see him in his element. That was really awesome. Again, happy Father's Day to everybody. And just wanted to put this little insert in there. I don't talk about my dad a lot, but uh, he's around. <laughs> yeah, he's very, very, very busy. Like me, we stay very busy. And again, that's called LB's Catering. Uh, not only does he do uh, the food truck, he does fundraisers and clothes drives for kids. Um, I know school is kind of weird right now, but back when people could go to school, he would do fundraisers for kids for like school supplies and clothes for the needy. You know, just really trying to get back to the community. And at night, when he closed on the food truck, he goes and DJs. I don't know how that man sleeps. Maybe that's where I get it from because I can never sit still either. Anyway, let's get to this. If we happen to be qualified for corner shop today, I will throw myself into an order and film that for you guys so you can see it. But the Instacart and Burpee thing, I think you guys have seen most of that. Anyway, who knows? We'll see what we sneak in here. I think I've talked too much. Let's get this video rolling. I'm actually a little excited to do this shop, these two shops right now because they just opened up a new H-E-B, which is a grocery store down here. If you guys aren't from uh, Texas, you probably know what the mess I'm talking about. But um, 
they just open it so it should have a lot of stuff in there so I don't have to worry about contacting the customer for substitutions the burpee customer that I'm doing an order for I've shopped for her a few times and she's requested me personally most of those times and um, I want to make sure I get the stuff that she's looking for uh, one time I have to go to a whole nother store just to get it because I just want to make sure I got what she wanted but um that's neither here nor there let's get this going I really want to wash my car today, but it's been raining like every other day down here. So uh, I don't know if I want to just waste that $8 on that. And again, apolo apologies to my North Austin people. Uh, yesterday, I was all over North Austin, and I am so mad that I didn't film, because that would have been some awesome new footage for you guys to see what North Austin looks like. So um, I'm really debating on actually just jumping zones one video and just working North Austin. Uh, just so you guys can see new areas new restaurants and just new frustrations because i'm sure i'm gonna run into a lot of new things because i kind of know these apartment complexes by now down here and how to get in and out even though some of the buildings still are a little wonky but um you know who knows we might we might do that we might do a north austin trip who knows it might even be today probably not but we'll see <laughs> All right, we are here. Let's get suited up and get ready for war. Not really. Sometimes it feels like that. <laughs> Where are my headphones? All right, found them. Does anybody else's armrest look like this? Receipts, mask, receipts. I need to go scan those in into uh, fetch rewards as well as uh, get upside and um, get some points. I've cashed out about 80 bucks already on uh, get upside from the stuff that I've done from the codes that you guys have used, like, it's all been magic. I appreciate it. So let me go and send this message to these customers so we can get this day started. And yes, we're rocking some new denim. Second mask my mom made me. I retired my other one for now. I mean, it's in the washer. So we're going to be wearing this one. Let's see. Let's go ahead and text our Instacart customer first because I know they're going to be on my butt about start your shop. So I'm starting it. Don't worry about it. So current orders, we're gonna go. Today we're shopping for Joel. Perfect, network error. Perfect, network error. What is up with you today, Instacart? I don't wanna have to catch, cancel batches today. <laughs> I don't wanna have to do that. Let's see, let's see. Oh, there we go. Get off of Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi sucks. So let's go start shop. I know I'm at a different location. Trust me, this will be a better thing for the customer. Wow, it's not even letting me, like, start the shop here. That's crazy. You are not in an Instacart. It doesn't even recognize this HEB. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. See other locations. We're already off to a bad start. The one that it wants me to go to is like a block up the street, which I don't know why the GPS just can't tag it up there. And I don't want to shop at that one because they're trying to close that one down and it doesn't have half of anything there. So I'm just gonna drive a block up the street. Actually, it's about four blocks up the street. Get the pin to GPS tag me. And then I'm gonna come back down here and shop in this one because this is where I want to be. Just something I got to do. How is that HEB not on the map yet is beyond me. But I do know that Instacart seems to have particular stores that it registers for us to shop in. Although some people say you can shop at any location. Um, like if it's an HEB, you can shop at any HEB. Uh, but some people have written on my comments and said they tried that and it was like a no-go. Uh, with that one being a new store, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they just haven't noticed that that one's open yet. But um, like I said, it's about four blocks up the road. It's not that big of a deal. I want to shop at that store for both of these orders because I know it's going to probably be a better experience. Maybe, maybe not, depending on how things are going right now. But um, we'll make it happen. <sighs> You know, as I drive up here, I'm thinking that I might just want to shop at this location. Only reason is because I go, let's say I go get all this stuff and I go to slide the car and this car's like, where the mess are you at? Nobody told you to go to freaking Macy's and uh, go shopping on our dime. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I should probably flip a coin. That's what I'm going to do. I haven't done that in a while. Let's gamble, shall we? Heads. I shop at this location. Tails, I go to the, the new one. Best out of three. Heads for this location, tails the new one. All right, 
looks like faith and its infinite wisdom is telling me just to shop here. <laughs> save gas, save time, stop being an idiot and just shop here. Fine. We'll revisit that store another day, guys. Actually, when Instacart realizes it's on the map. Actually, I can probably shop there for like Cornerstone or Burpee. But um, just not for Instacart. So sad. Nothing personal. I just wanted to try a new store today. Oh well, let's get this done. All right, here. let's resuit up and get ready to go try this again. Because Instacart has already sent me a message. Start your batch. Like, I was about to start my batch. If you guys can recognize where some freaking stores are. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go run in here and try to get this done as quick as possible. Since I'm doing a double batch. And I'm going to show you guys real quick what the order looks like on the screen. All righty. So we're going to go into Instacart. And we're going to say start shop. Now that you guys know that I'm actually at the location so crazy all right so he doesn't want much just 18 items mostly in produce should be able to get this really really quickly let's take a look at burpee so you guys can just see what that order looks like in case you haven't seen a burpee screen before maybe your first time watching my videos and if it is shame on you you should be subscribed okay so uh we're gonna go view order and this person just pretty much wants um yeah she normally wants a lot of uh animal food for her cat that pumpkin stuff she loves i went to another store trying to get that for her one day and it just wasn't happening i don't know people just got a, like a craving for pumpkin and it's not even halloween very very weird all right guys i'll be right back and we'll get this done um you're tuning in to 88.7 gig live where we're spinning all the hits this one's going out to you viewers who requested more grocery store shopping montage sit back and relax and prepare for a receptory overload keep it locked on gig live Let's go find this pumpkin filling and hopefully they got the right one here. Good morning, this is Patricia. Hey Patricia, this is LT, how are you doing? I'm at the HEB and I know you like that specific type of pumpkins, but they don't have it here. They do have an organic one, would that one be okay? Cool. I'll grab that up and when I'm on my way to your place, I'll let you know. All right, have a good one. Yes, ma'am. Bye bye. Bring the beat back. Bring it down now. 
Let's go! Alright people, we winding it down. I need to see everybody move. Let's go! We hope this little ditty got you out of your chair to help you shake your groove thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. More entertaining content is on the way. We'll be taking requests all afternoon, so don't change that dial. Keep it locked to 88.7 gig live. All right, so we're back in the car. Let's go ahead and get these orders to the customer. Uh, looks like I gotta get this one to Instacart customer first, then we're gonna drop it off to the Burpee customer. The destination is on your right. Arrived. Got that gentleman orders dropped off. He was coming outside as I was snapping a picture. Hope he doesn't mind being on camera. <laughs> but we're heading off to drop off the burpee order, which is our last order on this run. And then we'll see what else we can uh, pick up. Turn right onto King Albert Street. Arrived. Right. Just had a little chit chat with that lady from Burpee. Very sweet lady. She said she just adopted another cat, a little stray that came in that was very, very hungry. She couldn't turn it away, so um, he now has a new residency. As I was moving to her place, I saw an Instacart order that was there. It was six items, $13, only two miles away from the place. You know I picked that up. So that's where I'm gonna head right now, and um, we'll keep it moving. Turn right, then keep left into the car park. Arrived. <laughs> as I'm driving over here, bro, <laughs> earthquake. As I'm driving over here, um, countless, countless roadie orders are popping up. Like, I just don't get it. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish this. Uh, I'm actually have to come to Central Market. I don't know if I said Sprouts earlier. It's Central Market that I have to come to. I just wanna show you guys what roadie's looking like before I run through Central Market and get these few items. It is redonkulous. Uh, let's say, a little screen recording for the people in the back. Okay, you guys see how this thing is lit up? I'm gonna zoom in and you guys can see, like right next to me, there's orders that I can go snatch up and get, but like, I don't know if they're gonna let me do it. <sighs> this one's $15, not far. Like, I just don't understand, Rody. What are you saying? This one's $10. I could be doing some Rody right now. So like I said, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna knock out this uh, Instacart order real quick. Then I'm going to try to see if this background check got approved or if it's still pending. And we might be able to snatch up a roadie order. If not, I'm not far from where the point pickup place is. And I might try to pick up one of those because it's been also blowing me up. But let's go ahead and get this done. Now that we're all suited up, let's let the customer know that we are here and we're ready to go to work. Let's see. Current orders. Julia. Normally, you're gonna want to start this when you're in the store, but for the sake of the video, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right now. No, no need anybody in my comments going, "What are you doing, dude?" When you get in the store, settle down. Just settle down. <laughs> it's not that serious. It really, it really isn't. Okay, so now that I'm in the Apple application, now that I'm in the application, woo! Somebody needs some sleep. Let's go ahead and send them a little message to let them know that we're here and they were ready to start their shop. Standard. Let's go. 
This one goes out to all you funky soul brothers and sisters. We're gonna take a little trip to 1970. So grab those bell bottoms, shape up those afros, and turn on Charlie's Angels. As we spin another hit on 88.7 Gig Live. Oh, we got some 70s babies in the house. Come on down to the comments and let me know what your favorite song is from this decade. Alright folks, we're winding it down. We want to thank you so much for tuning in to 88.7 Gig Live. Remember this station is viewer supported, so be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. We'll be back again with more hits on 88.7 Gig Live. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye folks. Okay, so it's 11.06. My plan is to be out here to maybe 5, uh, 4 to 5, because at f from 4 to 5, it's when... Um, Corner Shop is going to have their meetup where I can go and get the uh, supplies that I need. Um, I talked about Corner Shop before, but if this is your first time hearing about it or seeing my video, whatever. Uh, they give you their own bags. Like, you, they want to be branded. So, you're not going to bring, like, Target, uh, HEB, Publix, whatever your grocery store, whatever your pharmacy or, you know, whatever the store is. You're not bringing their bags. You're going to be bringing uh, Corner Shop's bags. So, um... They're gonna give you supplies. So I need to go pick it up. That way I can start actually doing the um, the orders from them. Here's another freaking roadie. Uh, let's see, this one is three items. It's $12. It's so close to me. <sighs> I don't know, roadie. I don't know like, why, 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 why. Then I do have a point pickup order here. $15, 17 miles. Nyeh. Neat, neat, neat. Moving on from that, let's go drop this order off. I think after this, I'm gonna go turn on Grubhub, maybe do a couple of favors just to round out this crazy gauntlet of multi app infinity gems. And then we might, if Roadie allows me, we might do a Roadie today. I wouldn't hold my breath. All right, people, I just dropped that order off, and as I got back in the car, I looked at Instacart really quick. Can't help it. Uh, looks like they had an order in there. It was for $18. There's 10 items I got to go and run in there and pick up. So we're going to go do that one next, and I promise you, we will start some Grubhub. We will. We will start some Grubhub. At the stop sign, turn left onto Jones Road. You've entered the car park for your destination. We have made it. All right, let's go ahead and get this order done. This is gonna be for Julie. I think her drop off is gonna put me in Westlake Hills and Westlake Hills is where they normally have all the freaking um, point pickup orders. Not all of them, but for most of the ones that corresponds to me, they're in that area. So I might be able to do a point pickup while I'm heading in that direction. You just wanna be efficient. Uh, let's go. What time is it? It's morphin' time. Just kidding. It's actually, <laughs> 11.26, so we still got a little bit more time before we go pick up that corner shop supply. So, um, so let's just keep working. All right, we're all loaded up, let's go. I just realized I have not eaten today and I am hungry. So after this, I probably need to go get some food. We'll see. In one mile, turn right onto Westlake Drive. Left onto West Lake Drive. Those homes up there in this town. In 800 feet, the destination is on your left, West Lake Drive. Arrived. I think we just arrived. We're gonna go put this food up for the customer. Customers are actually outside washing their cars. So we got it dropped off for them. Sorry, I couldn't get you guys a shot of that, but um. It happens. Moving on. Wow. I just pulled over to the side to uh, look and see what my next order is going to be. And look at this.
think that's a boat entryway to get off into Lake Austin. It's pretty cool. Cool, cool. Holy smoke, there's 27 orders in Instacart. Have the bots been defeated? Wow, I haven't seen 20 orders in Instacart since I started this madness. That is crazy, crazy. <laughs> Holy smoke. I gotta screen record this for you guys. It doesn't end. Look at this. I'm not using bots. I'm not paying for bots. I got other apps I can get into. I'm not trying to use a bot, but there's 27 orders sitting in here. I've never, can't say I've never. <laughs> I haven't seen it like this in a while. Now there's 29. Wow, 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 wow. West Lake is pretty windy and it takes you pretty deep. So I'm gonna get out of West Lake and then I, once I get to back to uh, the main road, <laughs> I'll see um, where I'm gonna go get myself into. Wow. Just pulled in over here uh, to the Randalls area. Normally where point pickup is hot. While I'm over here, I'm gonna go to this McDonald's and get me something. I know, McDonald's gross, 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 but I am hungry, hungry, hungry. It's either that or Taco Bell and it's across the street and I don't feel like going across the street right now because I just pulled in over here. So I am gonna go to McDonald's. Look at this fancy thing. <laughs> well, brick sign. Who knew McDonald's could be so fancy? How do I even get to the drive-thru? <laughs> I'm all twisted around and it's fanciness. All right, let me get some food and uh, I'll check back with you guys in a second. You guys ever get the feeling that you're uh, you're being watched? When are you going to use me? <laughs> all in due time. Let me throw this McDonald's down my throat and uh, we'll get back to work, I promise. And we just got another alert that came in from Brody, which I probably can't do. Gotta be camera ready. Okay, so I just finished eating, well, most of my food. I still have some fries over here. And I swear, Brody just keeps taunting me for the sake of testing the waters. I'm gonna go in here and there's two orders. Refresh the app to make sure that those things were still there and I wasn't just seeing it. Ah, looks like they're gone. Well, nothing in a Brody. There were two orders there. Uh, for $9 and it was right next to each other. It would have been uh, easy 20 bucks. Let's go into a point pickup Because the Randall's that I pick up from is like right over here behind me. Uh, there's nothing in here either The funny thing is as soon as I pull off from this location Everybody and their mom is gonna start blowing up the line right now. It's one o'clock on the dot So I haven't seen any new uh, Roadies that have come in um, there actually is one but it's way up north not worth the drive And then I'm sitting right here next to the point pickup hot spot and nothing's come in yet. So we're gonna either activate favor or we're gonna turn on Grubhub. And the only way to find out which one we're gonna use is to flip a coin. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get this screen recording going. So my coin app, whichever one of these win the first round, we're gonna do an hour of that one and then we're gonna do an hour of the other one to see how much we make. So heads is for hub and tails is for favor, let's go. Flipping first, heads is for hub, tails is for favor. We got one tails. Heads is for hub, tails is for favor. We're running favor, guys. Activating favor runner app. Let's see what we got today, favor. Hopefully they have one of those promotions running that if you do four, you get 40 like guaranteed. Oh, we do, so here we go. Uh, if we do uh, run 25 favors, 200, wow, got it. All right, guys, we're gonna do some favors. Let's reload my map so we can zoom in onto where we need to be. But they got it, we, got, we can do Southwest Austin, we can do West Austin, B Caves. That takes me kind of up past the river. No, I don't wanna go as far as Anderson. So we're gonna stay South Austin and we're running favors. Dang, just like that, we got our first favorite that is popping in, Opal Divine. Let's look at the details. Cool. And as you know, favorite, we have to uh, order this at the restaurant or call it before we pick up. So I'm going to go ahead and make this call and we're going to get moving. Pepper Jack, chili and bacon and a pepper compote. This should take more than 15, 20 minutes. Okay, cool. Uh, do I need to pay over the phone or I'll pay when I get there? Uh, when you get here. Cool. I'll see you guys in a few. All right, see ya. Thanks. Let's go. 1990, Sean Black jumps upon the scene with the lean and a bucket full of green. Turn right onto East Lyberg Street, then turn left onto Schreiber Street. I can do what I want to do. 700 feet, turn right 
turn left onto Shriver Street. Turn right, then turn right onto South I-35 service road. Alright, people, I just arrived at this location, so I'm going to go ahead and say arrived at store. The customer also wanted to add some macaroni onto their order, so um, thank God I didn't pay over the phone. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the order, and I'll be right back. Pretty good. I uh, picking up an order for a uh, favor. For a favor? Yeah. Yeah. Go check on that really quick. Also, she wants to add some uh, fries and macaroni to that. Fries and macaroni? Yeah, just a side. Side? Try to sit down. Three minutes, maybe. Cool. So now that we got that paid for, we're going to go into the app and hit checkout. Take a picture of the receipt. Confirm the amount. 58. Don't be dyslexic. And save details. That's it. Got that. Items verified to the best of my ability without going into the customer's bag. Not doing that. We're heading to this customer now. I don't know about you guys, but I much prefer just to drive up to the restaurant and get the food and go. That whole ordering and whatnot. I think it takes a lot of time. But this restaurant was far enough away for them to get the food ready and it not really matter. But just saying, so this customer, one minute away, that can't be right. Let me double check this <laughs> and then we'll be on our way. The destination is on your right, South I-35 Frontage Road. Arrived. All right, got that dropped off for the customer and we're heading back to the car favor 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 <sighs> well i hope you guys enjoyed that one favor because the favor hour is up whole hour just to get that order dropped off and let me tell you why i get to the restaurant food is ready so it wasn't the restaurant it was all good uh but when i get to the apartment complex the map takes me to the right side of the highway when her apartment's on the other side of the highway so i text her i'm like hey uh map's being wonky uh give me some direction where you are oh i think it's on the other side of the highway no fault of hers maps are screwed up all the time so that was one thing turn over you know bust to you turn around get in there apartment starts with three so i'm thinking building three um as i look around i'm saying okay wait all of these apartment has the same kind of layout when you go up to the third floor they're all going to be in a sequence of three the second floor the sequence of two no matter what building you are some apartments are like that so i'm like okay texture what building are you because it's not in your notes oh i'm in building 10 when i pull up to building three so i'm circling around the complex to look for it. she's like oh it's right behind the uh, leasing office and building 10 and the leasing office is up front i'm thinking t building 10 is in the back so i'm coming back over this way to um drop it off i try i really do try with favor i try and i try and i try so let's go ahead and mark this complete <laughs> oh man you know it's not i guess so much favor's fault because that could have happened with any uber eats grubhub any of them <laughs> it could have happened uh because um apartment complexes will mess your mind space up but here's another thing we got one that just came in this is on east 11th street this looks like I'm going to be delivering it to a home. So I'm going to take one more favor and then we're done. We're going into Grubhub after this. Let's hope this turns out better. <sighs> so I'm calling the restaurant to place the order before I drive over there. And um, it says, sorry, um, the person who you're trying to reach can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message. Uh, the voicemail does say it's for Tony's Jamaican food, which is good. But um, uh -huh. if you're not answering, I don't know if the place is even open. So before I drive over there, I'm like... Do I just cancel this one and move on to one that I can actually talk to a person? Or do I risk driving over there and this place be closed? It could be a food truck for all I know. <sighs> coin. Let's flip a coin. Heads, we're going to Tony's. <laughs> nope. So unfortunately, I won't be making my way to Tony's Jamaican food. I need to cancel this favor 
let me show you guys on the screen just in case anybody wants to know um because i don't show a lot of favorite footage so while i'm in this app god only knows when i'm going to come back to this app let me show you top right hand corner there's three little dots you're going to hit cancel favor and then you're going to tell them why uh customer merchant is temporarily closed or not accepting order uh merchant is permanently closed um down at the bottom where i put my own notes called and no one answered to take order submit oh you gotta so i'm just gonna say merchant is temporarily closed submit cool so that one's done we'll see if they give us another one it is 159 i'm willing to wait for one more if not grubhub here we come if there's any people who watch this channel and does favor on the regular i mean you know it's one of the apps that you use please send me some good favor vibes i want to be a good favor app <laughs> user <laughs> it's blue it's my favorite color I, I like the interface but um i just can't i just won't i just shan't not in other news we're gonna go get some gas and we're gonna hit grubhub i'm sure everybody's been wanting to see more grubhub footage well guess what you got it it's on its way this window down before i suffocate to death right in front of you guys activating grubhub driver app let's see what we can do for grubhub in an hour it is 2 10 so we'll give grubhub to a 3 10 which would be perfect because about four o'clock i need to make sure i'm south to pick up the corner shop uh, entry packet or supplies or whatever they want to call it. So um, we're waiting and I don't like waiting. Come on Grubhub. We just need at least one order so I can say I touched the Grubhub app today. While we wait for Grubhub um, to kick it in gear, let me show you why crack is whack. 30 items. $15. What else we got in here? In this crack machine. 52 items. 20 bucks. Like, what the mess? I am so shocked I have not gotten hit with the cowbell mating call. Where are you, Grubhub? It is 214. So, um, mm, 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 mm. that notification was Rody, by the way. <laughs> Curse you, Rody. Curse you and your gigs that I can't touch. Point pickup, also dry. No orders to pick up on point pickup. I mean, it shows I'm in a hot zone too for, uh, Grubhub, but uh, let me double check just to make sure I am online. Tasking, taking offers. Yeah, I'm online, guys. Um, I'm not going back into favor. That's done. <laughs> Is the weekend dispatch don't normally have anything going on? Although, you can see, I am online. Actually, let me turn dispatch off because that's probably just draining battery in the background. Uh, if nothing else happens on um, good old Grubby Hub, you guys know where we're going to jump into. See it with me? What's that? Uber Eats? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna jump into Uber Eats and finish out my day. We finally got something. I think. There it is. Okay, so let's view. Here we go. It's the High Kai restaurant, which is actually right down the street. I've been to there, been to them many times before with um what do you call that place? Uh Uber Eats. <laughs> so what I'm trying to figure out here is location and distance. Because I see where I am. Okay, so now I see. Let me show you guys on here. Ride, 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 ride. Me, me, restaurant customer, not too far away. We're moving. Except, I was really getting worried. I was gonna say, I need to touch the Grubhub Infinity app. All right, so it is 217. Let's see how many Grubhubs we can do. And I don't think I have to pay for this one. Thank God. Turn right, then the destination is on your right. The destination is on your right. So the order's not ready yet, but I found something that's pretty interesting. I want to show you guys just like on Uber Eats. The problem? Order not ready. So it's not critical. I don't have to chat. Support. I just gotta let them know that it's not ready. That's why I'm waiting. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Oh, At long last! <laughs> Grubhub order and the Grubhub bag. Can you believe it? Alright, so... We have gotten the food, we're heading out. They said text him when I'm like two minutes away. I don't know if that's gonna be possible when I'm driving. We'll just figure it out when we get there, buddy. Turn up the music the song just came on. In 600 feet, the destination is on your right. 
arrived. All right, that customer actually met me right here by his front entrance, so drop that off. First Grubhub in the bag, not too bad. Just like somebody got a DoorDash coming over there right now. You need to pick up the food first. We did that, what are you saying? Grubhub kind of threw me for a little loop in their menu option screen, but I think I got it. Now it's rolling, arrived, and now we're gonna say delivered. And that is it for that order of Grubhub. Hopefully we can get some more. Let me get out of these people's way. Favor runner over there. I should ask him, like, dude, do you make any money? Do you have any troubles being a favor runner? Because I have the worst luck trying to be a favor runner. Hmm. Oh, well. It's 2.40, so I'm going to try to take one more favor order, and then I'm going to turn off all the apps and then head to the zone where um, they're going to have the corner shop uh, representative bring our merchandise or our supplies, because I don't want to miss it. I've been missing it for the past week and I want to get that supply so I can start corner shop rolling um, just trying to see if I can get another cowbell uh, while I'm down here on the Riverside area because this is a normally this is normally a hot speak of the devil let's pull this car over and see what we have all right so it says let's view it Dairy Queen <laughs> you guys won't believe this too <laughs> that's exactly the that's exactly where I pulled into all right, let's see where it's taking me though. I'm the bleaking dot. And, well, no, it says Dairy Queen Stassini. Dang it, no problem. Let's just go do it. I mean, it's 16 bucks, except offer. That's my luck. Not so fast, Kimo Sabi. Thought you were finna just jump out and go to Dairy Queen. Like, literally, Dairy Queen is right here. The Riverside Dairy Queen. That's what I thought it was, but it's the Stassini's Dairy Queen. We're finna move to Dairy Queen, and then um, that's probably gonna be our last order. Grubhub, then we gotta go get gotta go get the corner shop stuff. I gotta go get that. And then that should be about five o'clock and that's where I'm gonna end it. I wasn't planning on doing much today. I wasn't planning on going really hard today. Hopefully we broke $100 today. We'll see. At the lights, turn right onto West Stasny Lane, then turn right, turn right, then arrive at your destination. We just pulled into Grubhub. <laughs> we just pulled into Dairy Queen. For Grubhub. Oh, that's cool. Look. They got them all. They're all up here. Wow. Anyway, we're gonna say we arrived. Sorry, that is horribly out of focus. So we're picking up for Eric M. Eric Magnus Lyncher. I'll give you 30 points if you can tell me what character that is. Probably won't get it. No cheating. Don't go Google it. Just go down to the comments and drop it if you can tell me what character that is. Whose real name is that? What's wrong, sir? I'll tell you what's wrong. Corner shop, dude. The four to five. Let me show you. I don't even know if I even caught this earlier and somebody probably gonna comment. Dude, you're reading this stuff all wrong. Tuesday is four to five. Saturday is 12 to one. If you guys subscribe to watch Corner Shop um, or Roadie, <laughs> please hold tight. We're experiencing mental technical difficulties. I cannot believe that. That was my whole reason for working. I was not gonna work today. I was like, I gotta go get my, my uh, materials anyway, so let me, while I'm out, let me go and um, do the do. <laughs> I'm looking at it thinking it's gonna change and it's not gonna change. Anyway, I got my Grubhub stuff, guys. One day, I promise, we will see what Corner Shop looks like. I'm kinda done, I'm kinda done for the day. Oh well, got order, all depressed, leaving in the store. This will be my last Grubhub order. Sorry, I know you guys wanna see more Grubhub stuff. Burpee just hit me up with an order uh, from Target, uh, $15 to run in and get a few things, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we might be winding this down. I am, um, um, I'm still heated about that uh, freaking um, corner shop supplies you know what i'm gonna do i'm not even gonna mention it because i think that happened last time i mentioned it in one of my videos i'm gonna go get my corner shop stuff and miss the window again so i'm just gonna turn the camera on when i'm walking up to the the car the bus the cab or whatever it is uh you know the truck or whatever it is they're gonna hand this thing out these supplies out to me and uh confirm my habit i'm not gonna say anything else about corner shop material until i freaking have it in my hand this is ridiculous absolutely ridiculous I will say one thing about today. Most of all my drop-offs 
have brought me right next to something where I need to pick up. So I'm gonna drop this Grubhub order off uh, and then the Target I need is like right over there. So I'm not far from the Target to go do that shop. So I'm not burning a whole lot of uh, gas. Well, more than usual. I mean, I drive a freaking Jeep Commander, so I burn gas, but you know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. The quarter of a mile, turn left onto charismatic lane. <laughs> Lane. Then turn right onto Sea Hero Lane. Turn right. Hello. How are you doing? Alright. All set. Alrighty, thank you. Have a good one. Second person who said no contact delivery and standing outside to get their food. Either they're really hungry or Something's going on. <laughs> I don't know, but we're finna go ahead to Target and knock out this burpee order. I wasn't even gonna do any more burpee orders today. I'm only doing this burpee order <laughs> because I can't do my corner shop order. Just trying to make myself feel better. <laughs> and I looked at it and I was like, um, there's no tip on this order. And he's all like, don't worry. I'm gonna add something to it. So like I said, I, I mean, I don't know if it's just one person's company or something got to i talked to the same person so i mean if you guys do burpee or sign on with burpee uh, i think his name is michael let me know if you guys are talking to a dude named michael i think he runs the whole operation i don't know all i know is i mentioned a little something i was like there's no tip on this not that i was asking i was just confirming i was like okay this order is 15 and there's no tip on this he's like okay let me add a little something on there for you and he knocked it up to 18 dollars. not a big jump but 18's 18's closer to 20 than it was for 15 you know what i'm saying so i appreciate that so yeah i don't know if you guys got a chance to see that target there they uh had a a power outage and all their frozen sections all their frozen sections the freezer, the coolers, and all that kind of stuff was kaput. So the customer wanted a lot of veggies. They also wanted some things out of the freezer section like salmon, which a lot of it I couldn't actually get. So I reached out to the burpee guy and was like, hey, this half this order won't even be fulfilled. Uh, what do you recommend I do? And he's like, oh, you know, just deliver what you can. Now I've done this once before uh, where I went to another location to finish out a customer's order because the store was on the way. Same thing with this customer. Uh, there's another Target that's probably like four blocks from their house. I shopped this one because it was closer to me where I was in this area. So uh, he said, if you're willing to stop into that Target just to see if they have any more of the customer's order, we'll give you something extra. And I was like, why not? Because I'm already heading that way anyway. And there's only like five items that um, I couldn't fulfill off that order. So um, the, the total keeps going up and that's awesome. So um, we'll see what we end up with tonight. Man, I really wish I got the corner shop supplies. I'm not gonna let it go. You know what the crazy thing is? This is the same target that I was supposed to meet. The corner shop guy. Ugh. I'm okay. I am just doing fine. Let's go in here so I can get the rest of these items and then we'll probably call it, depending on what time it is. New lighting, who's this? Yes, guys, I am back. Back in the apartment. So, uh, what a day, what a day. Um. Um, we'll get Corner Shop and Roadie together one of these days. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look and see what I made. Uh, right now it is 6.15. I actually went and did some of my own personal shopping. I actually ended right at 5 o'clock. Uh, Burpee was my last order. Uh, he added, um, seven extra more dollars for that extra stop. Like, literally, it was, like, right on the way. So it was my choice to stop. I didn't have to. Uh, let's start off with Burpee. How about that? So let me get a screen capture going. Uh, we did Instacart, Burpee, Grubhub... We tried to do point pickup today, but I've done that throughout the week. So actually, you know what? Let's go, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go to Burpee. We're going to go to Burpee first. Because Uber Eats is one I want to save for the end. They actually have one in here right now. Decline, I am offline right now. I'm not doing anything else. We're going to go to complete it. So today, just so we can check it, is the 27th. You can see it there on my calendar. We did two orders today for, um, what is this? Burpee. <laughs> uh, the first one we did was $14, and um, then they gave me a $7.65 tip. Uh, then the last one we did was $18. He's going to add $7 on top of that for what I, um, you know, completed. Some extra 
stop and go. Um, as you guys can see, I've been doing uh, mostly burpee orders. Let's start at the beginning of this. So for this week, uh, looks like this week starts on the 21st. So from the 21st to the 27th is everything we're counting. Let's go into burpee and check it out. Uh, for the ones that have been completed, we're gonna go to um, payment. And you can see a list. So it's captured everything up to the 26th. So we can see for at least right now to the 26th as we scroll over. And you guys can see the breakdown of all the orders that I've done so far. Uh, the tips, the uh, the wages, the burpee, final payment. So what burpee's gonna pay me when all this is said and done, looks like it's gonna, looks like it's gonna be 283.81. That's what I'm making so far in burpee. That's not counting the ones that I did today. And I will have all this racked up on the screen, guys, so don't worry. Let's get out of burpee. And let's go jump into our good friend's point pickup. It's the next one on the list. I actually did one the other day. Like I said, on my way home, I picked it up. It was right on the way, so it wasn't any problem. We're going to go to my orders and payments. And it's the one at the top, the one for $14.73. That was the point pickup one I did. So we did touch that Infinity app. Uh, didn't do Rody. Grubhub. Forgot about Grubhub. Let's go down here to Grubhub. We did two Grubhub orders today. That should have been the first one we touched. We're going to go to earnings. Do you guys want to see the breakdown of that? Do we really care? Hmm, no view activity. Let's just see. Uh, looks like uh, there was a four dollar tip on that one, three dollar tip on that one, sixteen dollars and nine dollars. So not bad, not bad for the Grubhub. I actually, like I'm actually liking Grubhub. I just gotta do more of them. <sighs> favor. Let's go to favor. <laughs> Let's go into good old favor. Okay, favor. Uh, we did one favor today. <laughs> I like the interface. It's nice. It's cool. It's blue. I just have the the craziest times with favor. Uh, favor, no money. That's not true. We actually got some money. It's just it's just pending. So favor, the customer has until twenty four hours sometimes to close out the whole order, which is another reason why I have my misgivings about favor because you don't know what you really made until it's all said and done. But from what they're showing here, if we go deeper into this, if I can just click on this. So it's saying that we would have made $4 for that favor, but I think they estimated it at $13 when they uh, gave me my little final screen. So we're gonna say, I was gonna say $4, like that's pretty bad, but if it's anything more than that when I finish editing this all, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, favor, and that was like a whole hour of trying to get that done. But that's not what the customer has tipped. So the customer, by like I say, by the end of the night can go in and tip another amount and can really knock this up like i said when it's all said and done i'll let you know so don't count it out just yet let's go to instacart okay instacart i don't even remember how many orders we did in instacart earnings for the week we're at two uh, we're at 102 for instacart let's go check it out here so for the 22nd as you can see i've been doing some light orders in instacart uh for today we made 45 dollars we did three orders make sure nobody shies to me on some tips down here so far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, so far, so good. Okay. No tip baiting in um, Instacart. Dispatch? I don't think I did a dispatch. I'm just going to double check. I don't think I did a dispatch. Nope, dispatch is dry. And what else do we have on? Uber Eats, the last one. So Uber Eats, I've really been in Uber Eats. Not only have I been in Uber Eats, you guys have been blessing me in Uber Eats. So I just want to show you guys um, where I am for the week with Uber Eats, if it ever loads. So we didn't do any Uber Eats today. Probably should have did one or two just to round it off. But I've been in this app all week. Why is it taking so long? All right, so for the week in Uber Eats, I am at 609, uh, 609.28. I want you guys to take 300 away from that. The only reason why I say that is because if we go to the 20, uh, if we go to the 22nd, you guys can see I made 140, 154 that day. And we come here to the next one, you can see I made a solid $200. That was not me alone. That was a, um, that was a promotion. So I want to say thank you so much i'm not gonna put your name uh kells or chells uh, i think i might have just done that anyway thank you so much you're 200 dollars through my week over the top and then as you guys can see over here i made 80 um i made 89 dollars. this was multi happened with the other apps that day i was bringing about 200 dollars collectively the days i actually went out and worked 
Uh, and then the other day, which was Friday, which was yesterday, I made 166 in Uber. But the 100 came from another promotion. As you guys can see right here, referral bonus. Ebony, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I got your bonus. I really appreciate that. Everybody tipped. So, yeah, I was bringing about... I was bringing well over $200 multi-apping aside from what I was getting with these bonuses that were just popping up. And as you guys can see, I really didn't work much. What's that? Four days? Uh, now, like I said, if we take away, uh, what was it, six? So it was like $300 something dollars for the four days plus what I had in the other apps. I did pretty well. But wait, there is more. Good old user testing. Had to go knock out a couple of those. And this is what I was able to get. Uh, from doing user testing, here's the proof, and this is what I'm ending at. So yeah, in that little short bit of time, I knocked out some user testing and made another $20. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> and just as I'm sitting here, take a look at this. So that customer who didn't tip and then Burpee gave me the extra $7, that person went back and actually tipped $12 because I went that extra mile to get that extra stuff for them. I knew! I knew something good was gonna come out of that. I'm happy I did that. What I wanna show is the grand total of everything we've made today. Mm -hmm. And this is what we made for the week. And if you guys, like I said, wanna take away the $300 from the actual promos, that's what I physically went out there and made. And then with your gracious help, that's what my final week will end at so I can put some money back into savings. So all in all, what a great, great week. Again, my apologies, guys. I really wanted to hit on Rody, and I definitely, definitely, definitely wanted to get my corner shop supplies, but um, you know, things just happen. I do hope you guys enjoyed the other ride along footage from the other Infinity apps that I did do. If you guys are desperate for Uber Eats videos, there's a ton of them on my channel. Instacart, Burpee, it's all there. Just go freaking look at my catalog. You will see how I've been using these apps to make money while multi-app. So as we reach the end of this video, guys, if you are new, as I said at the beginning of this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And while you're there, hit the notification bell so when I make new videos, you guys can get notified. Don't forget to like this video and comment below about what you like about this channel and what do you want to see more of. What other apps should I go get? Let me know so I can go on the hunt and add them to my gauntlet. Until we meet again, riders and drivers, I hope you have a great day and I will see you on the next ride. Peace.